Hi there, Blaze here. Welcome in Notion tutorial. I want to show you how to use Notion for managing your game development tasks. Notion could be used also for managing game development documentation, but I have this idea for video noted in my on my to-do lists, so I will probably record a video about uh, game documentation in the future. But now I want to show you how I use Notion for managing tasks on my development board. And I'm going to start with telling you why I use Notion. I've tested few applications for managing tasks like uh, Todoist, Apple Reminders, Trello. And I can tell you that every application is good enough for managing your tasks if you uh, work lonely. If you work in team, this could be different because not every application is prepared to work good on Collaborate. Mm, but if you work lonely, you can choose whatever you want, whatever you feel comfortable. And because I think this is important. This is important to feel comfortable in your application. I choose Notion because I feel it's comfortable for me and it's very customizable, so I can make them work as I want. Okay, so let's go for my development board. I will show you how it looks and then I will show you how to create this board from scratch. As you can see, I have few columns here. I have milestone, a new feature, improvements, bug or issue, art and idea. Milestones are my main task for this week. So I have a task, my enemies are real army, and I use it as my target for this week. So I want to make this done until the next Sunday. And there I have some tasks for future weeks. Sometimes this is enough because I don't need to have many small tasks. Sometimes I want to have one bigger task for one week. But if you want to have some small task, I use other columns. New feature for tasks for functionalities I need to create from scratch. Improvement column for things that I need to improve. Uh, so it stands for system that I have, but I want to make this work better. Something like this. Back or issue is for tasks when sometimes something isn't working. As you can see, the spawner isn't working. I have the spawner script, which should destroy my miseries when they not visible anymore, but it isn't working. So I write it here. Okay. So when I scroll a view, you will see that I have art column here and idea column. Idea is simply for everything that I want to remember because now it's not possible to add this functionality. I can't implement daily rewards by now because I don't have any currency. So I don't have anything I can reward, but I want to add it in the future. So I know this here and I remember about this. But more interesting is my art column because art are just tasks. So why I don't put it somewhere here or by milestone. This is because creating art uh, isn't as simple as it may look. Creating art takes me often more time or I don't want to spend entire week on creating only art. I just create art when I have enough free time. I take my iPad and then I draw some sprites or make some new beats for my music. I know that I will use it in the future. Uh, I know that I will need it, but I don't know exactly when and I don't want to have deadlines on art because I want to create art to look good or to hear good if it's music. So I have another column only for art tasks. Second tab here is board and as you can see here I have standard to do in progress and complete but I don't have milestones here because milestones as I said is related with weeks so I'm doing only one milestone per week so I don't want to have it on board because when it's checked in progress here, I know that this is my target of the week. Here I have another tasks, art at the bottom and new feature improvements and bug or issues at the top. And the last thing is time track report. For any task that I have on my dashboard, I can assign time spent in hours. And this is very useful because I have some of my working hours and I can use it in the future when I, for example, will want to create a new project. I can organize it better because I will know how many time I will need to do some stuff like art or setting prototype or something. How to create development board from scratch. When you have your notion, create 
new page by clicking here and this will show you this screen you can write your title here we will create a page for entire game so for example we can tell that you want to create pac-man remaster version so let's name it pac-man remaster and we will start with start page the same as i have for space strike project so we will create empty page with icon this is default icon added here after clicking that you can choose another icon i will leave it as it is and now we will create some bookmarks for another sub pages and maybe description of this project so let's write description first okay here it is and we're gonna create some bookmarks now notion have functionality to create columns of content so if you click slash you will have access to creating some blocks notion pages are built from blocks you can see that there are many of these blocks we will go for column so if you write column we have two three four or five columns of our blocks i like to use two columns but you can do it as you want let's go with two columns the same slash and now i'm going to heading three and name it development now i'm gonna here for right side and creating another heading i will name it game universe and this side of page i can use for creating pages for example for enemies for player for levels level design maybe i will show this in another tutorial but now we are going to create development board so click slash go to page and you will have the same window as you have when creating pacman remaster root page i'm gonna name it development board but now i'm not gonna create empty page with icon i'm gonna create board which is a database type so let's click on board and let's click on new database because if i click on something from this i will have a copy of the same board from another page so if i click this development board i will have the same development board i i, I have on space strike project so let's create new database and this is default view you have to do in progress and complete you can also set icon here let's go for compass i like setting compass on development board you can also add cover from these images or you can upload to your own and i will send this okay so let's start with dashboard view the same dashboard with columns i have on my development board so let's create new view by clicking this plus icon name it you can rename name it dashboard check for layout check board and you have some options here card preview is shown when you have property with picture assigned to your card if you want to see these pictures without uh, clicking this card you can set preview for page content or page cover i use none for tasks card size i will leave for default medium group by and uh, this is here's property we will change now because we want to group by type but we don't have group by and we don't have any type here so we need to create some new properties so let's back to view options you can click on those here and you have view options let's go for for properties and i have some properties on my board uh, i also remove assign property but if you work in teams you can leave it as it is status i will move it to shown now you will see that the status is not started and after clicking that you can change this for in progress on complete if you want to create new property just click on new property here and i will add select and name it type the same as i have on my development board and you need to add few options here so i have milestones back or issues ideas new feature improvement and art you can also change colors of these labels so let's back to layout board and now i can set group by to type and as you can see we will have columns that are related with our types we have no type column here because these are default cards and they stay in this no type if you set any type for these cards for example let's make card one an art task card two improvement and card three milestone but no type is still visible here so if you go to layout group by you can change view of no type and now it's in hidden group section this is how notion work and this need to be displayed here but i will not using this this can be here okay you can rearrange your columns so let's make milestone a first card let's go for ideas 
I will move it to the end. And I have also new feature improvements and bug or issue. As you can see, we have type displaying here and it's useless because we have also type displayed here on column title. So if you go to properties, you can change type for hidden and it will not show anymore. Another fun option is a setting in layout group by uh, color columns to on and you will have these columns a little more uh, colorful. I like this view. Okay, move this dashboard to the beginning so it will display as default card when I launch this development board and let's set this card as task. So milestone fears will be creating prototype and then I'm going to implement player movement for example, art of course player sprite and also enemy sprite. I have one improvement so let's just delete this, delete and this is move to trash ideas. So let's start with daily reward. Why not? I will create some example tasks on new feature column. So for example, create new Unity project. Also create prefab for player, create prefab for enemy. And that's enough. Uh, I will show you how I use this as, day, as my weekly planner uh, with these few tasks. So when my development week starts, I choose one of my stones to implement in this week. So I will start with creating prototype. I set this to in progress. And now this is in progress. I see that this milestone is my target for this week. And I'm gonna make some other tasks in this week. And to make this possible, we can go to properties, add new property. Let's set multi-select and add an option named this week. And for example, high priority. These are two I use on my development board. Change this week, for example, for green. And I want to create new Unity project this week. So I click here, go to my multi-select. I don't rename it. Let's rename it, for example, as planner. And I select this week. We have this labeled as this week. I want to create player sprite, for example, because this is very needed to create prefab for player, which I'm going to create this week too. And player sprite art is with higher priority because I can't create player prefab without player sprite. So let's check this as high priority too. Okay, I have my task plan for this week. So I can go to board view and this don't look like my board for weekly planning, but we will change this now. So let's go to properties and check here planner because I want to see this here. Now I'm gonna subgroup and here I will select type. And as you can see, Notion create rows for all my types, also for no type. And now I have these tasks on standard to do in progress complete view. But as you can see, I have milestones here and I have no type here. So I want to hide this, click on the three dots and check hide, same here. And let's move it a little because I don't want to have art on the top. Ah, okay, I also don't want to have ideas here because ideas are not related with this week. So hide this. Now I'm gonna rearrange this. So let's go to subgroup and change the order. Okay, but it's not all because as you can see, I have this task with label this week, but I don't want to have these tasks here because it doesn't has this week label. So go to filter, go to planner, check for this week and planner contains this week. Okay, another tasks are hidden now. And this is how my weekly board is looking. Uh, let's name it as weekly board, for example. And the last thing I want to show you is my time track report. So let's create new view, name it as time track report and we will choose layout table, it's okay. You need to create new property with type number. Let's name it time spent. Number format, let's add this as number with commas because I also often use half an hour and show as number is the default option. But I, I like to have a visualization for this. So I use ring and let's set divide by, for example, 12. Why 12? And because when you look on analog clock, you can see that it has 12 hours. So drawing my time spent in hour on ring will look a little like a progress on analog clock. You can use it as you want, but I like to have this shown as something like analog clock. Okay, I'm going to properties to hide assign planner. Okay, and now let's go to filter, check time spent, 
and set this as is not empty. Now you have empty list, but if you go to dashboard and set, for example, creating prototype, let's tell that creating this prototype gets me on six hours and let's go to players, right? Set this, for example, as done and I'm done it in two hours, three hours, sorry. Let's go to time track report. And now you have name of the task you will do, type of these tasks, because maybe you want to track all the tasks as new feature improvements. So this will show you the type. You can set this as you want. I also track milestones and art tasks. We have six and three hours here. Very pretty. Let's go to bottom of this table and set calculate here for sum. And as you can see, I spent nine hours to making all entire project prototype and player sprite. Okay, let's back to Pac-Man remaster main page. Oh, let's, let's set a cover here. Okay, and we have our development board, our another section going for development board will show you that view, that dashboard. You can also rearrange this. Maybe you would like to see weekly board first and time track report. And I think that's all. If you have any questions about this tutorial, about Notion, write a comment. I will reply. I also want to record more tutorials in the future related with game dev. So if you have any ideas, write suggestions down below. I hope that this video helps you. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you like it. And see you in the next video. Bye.